go. Okay. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Yvonne Williams with Black Earth Creations. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, hey Christy, hey Don, hey Leaf, hey everybody. Did you get here from the email? And if you didn't, and you missed the notification from YouTube, either because they never sent it out or whatever, please sign up for our newsletter. Uh, you can go to backtoyourcreations.com and scroll down to like almost all the way to the bottom, like right above our calendar, uh, and you can sign up for our newsletter there. Um, and that way you can get a notification emailed to you around five minutes before this stream actually starts, as well as get... Um, E newsletters like emailed whenever we have shop updates or new tutorials or different things like that so uh, Daniel says still haven't gotten the YouTube notification it is disgustingly hot pro pool um, summer is holding on and I'm like I can't wait for autumn I cannot wait That's what that noise is. I was like, who's hissing at me? I have really hard S's and it's coming through on my earphones. I'm like, I'm oh, hissing at me. Yeah, I had my ear earphones plugged in yeah. earlier because I was to me to look into a lady named Kate. Can't remember her last name. Um, Kate Drew Wilkinson, who makes lampwork glass out of like sheet glass, like for um, stained glass. Anyway. What's happening, my love? I'm all tangled up in the laptop cord. Why did why is life like this? Freaking wizards. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, thanks, Alicia. I think I'm finally figuring out how to style my little pre-Karen. So it's like a little baby Karen. If I keep growing the bangs out, it's gonna be a Karen cut. And you'll have to speak to Sam. Oh, show me your manager. Yay. I oh, lost. It's... She wants to talk to you. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to back this up just a little bit. There we go. I have that there. It seems like we're buffering super hard. If anybody is watching this in the replay mm -hmm. and it's cutting out really Maybe bad, possibly, um, there's not really anything that Randy and I can do about that. So please don't yell at me in the comments about how crappy my videos are. Because I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware. Um, ooh, hey, Cyan says, I've been gone all month and so happy to catch back up with your live streams. Love, love, love your hair. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. More than anything, I'm glad I like it. I'm glad Randy likes it, too. He actually snuggles me now instead of me sticking my hair up his nose. Well, you snuggled me before. Yeah. But it's better now. It is it? better now. It is much nicer. There's not, like, that mass of angry hair in the way. Um, yes, buffering a lot. Are you on house? Let me see. I am not. I am just talking to space. I think this phone heard that a new phone's coming out um, on the market, and so now it's like, hmm, sure would be a shame if somebody's phone stopped working now that you paid off. Oh, thanks, Maria. Beep boop. A lemon and an orange slice that have been dehydrated, and it makes it taste like like it already has more. You're, you're messing. Why'd you why'd you do that to my orange? What? Why'd I do what? You, you made it all stuck to the bottom. Why you stop That's poking my drink? That's my drink. Gimme, give gimme. Give my perfect. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it made it all weird. Well, now it's stuck. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Anyways, uh, back to the live stream. Uh, we're going to be doing some Q&A today. Now nobody gets a straw. How about that? Get your hand out of my drink. <clears throat> um, Q&A today, as well as I made a list. <gasps> Guys, we did a shop update, and we have a few cabs left. Not many. Not many, but... If y'all want to go and check out our cabs for sale and see if you want to take any home with you. And also, if you want to see any um, live and in action here in the stream, because it's really hard to capture that dichro effect just on a picture. Yeah, it is. What? Well, I don't often get to look at you whenever we're streaming. Do you always just sit there in the background like, 
No. <laughs> it's like the kid from the kazoo commercial. He's just like, I know, it's Winona Ryder during that award speech and they, the pizza's floating around. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yes, I've seen it. Okay. Um, so we have cows for sale. Hey, Carol. She says, we have not seen you use the air compressor that we bought you. What's up? Hey, Carol. We use the air compressor a lot, but it's very loud in the tutorials. And here lately, we just haven't really, we haven't done very much leather working. We haven't done uh, any airbrush artwork. We've only really had time for the kiln with our cab fulfillment with our stuff. We really appreciate that you sent the, uh, the air compressor, or, you know, and uh, that was very generous of you. Daniel says, I sub today. Excellent. Right on, Daniel. Saw that, yeah. Watching my favorite channel, we eating dinner and wine. Life is good. Hey, Mitch. Aaron, how's it going? How's your baby? I recently cut my hair very short like that, too. Isn't it great? It's amazing. I like, can't imagine what Aaron looks like with short hair. Probably stinking adorable, like a little mischievous pixie woman. Probably. I don't know. It's just, I, I can't wrap my head around that. <laughs> oh, Pi, you're very sweet. So you made a list. Um, I did. Okay, so we talked about cabs for sale. For everybody who isn't aware, um, Randy and I are shifting away from Patreon. We are. And we have started our own craft along club on our website, backtoearthcreations.com. And anybody who signs up uh, until, what, January 2021? Yeah. Like, you have till December 31st to sign up and get dibs on a double cab box for your first box from us. Um, and that's whether you've been a previous Patreon supporter or whether you're brand new. Um, and also, uh, we have a lot of, we're going to talk to y'all a little bit about the perks and benefits and everything of us transitioning from Patreon to our own website. You're going to unload them? Yeah. Right on. Um, Uh, it gives you full control over if you want to be charged on the 10th sign up on the 10th it's not like patreon where if you signed up on the 10th you wouldn't be charged until like the first or like the 24th or something um but and so all uh, right on which is best thing i've done is subscribe on your site Ooh, we actually have gotten a lot of emails from people who are like i'm so glad to be able to cancel on patreon because it's another thing is it's very easy to cancel from our website there's like at the bottom of every single page there's an unsubscribe button that way you can click that and it'll cancel your payment no hassles no digging around like through layers of stuff like on patreon um ah uh, right on erin not sleeping all night though. Ew. You don't have <laughs> He'll to get go there. To your account, and then your account settings, and then your uh, pledgers, and then your edit your pledger. Yeah, button, it's not then. a six-step process. It's a you click and you're done. Um, are the cabs blue and orange next month, Phyllis? No. That's a really interesting <laughs> question. Uh, but no, they will not be orange at least. There you go. So look at our blue. So y'all, yeah, I had ordered blue from. The sky's the limit, like box of different sheet glass from uh, Delphi Glass, and I'm not mad. These are beautiful colors. But in, during our members' exclusive stream on Saturday, we were like, I don't know, maybe they'll fire down to blue. Like I don't know how some sometimes there's like striper glasses and stuff that like are different after they've been fired than what they look like. No, these are green. They these are, are as green as they look. There was no hoping in my heart. It's these are as green as Oz, man. Yeah. Oh, can I show them this one? Oh, it's all powdery. I don't want to die. You want to show them the green one? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll go grab something. Field trip time. Just leave it. Why you gotta move the camera? Right, because I any excuse to get to do this. Uh oh. Okay, guys. So, this is one of the sheets. Let me get a light on. This is one of the sheets that we had made with the green adventuring sheet. And you can kind of see, hopefully, maybe. Oh no, Pi, <laughs> maybe. They might have been colorblind. I don't know. 
but we were planning on doing like an ocean theme for September, but because uh, we have all that blue for it that we had bought specifically for September. Um, we're ahead well, like we were planning ahead or anything. So September is going to be like blues and greens, and then October we think we're going to be doing like blues and purples. Hopefully, do what? Which now? Yeah, which now? Who knows? Um, we might do like autumn colors. That might be really pretty. I don't know. We'll see. We tried planning ahead once. That was enough of that. <laughs> But this is the great, like, check out how, like, just super, and the way that we did this is we took the sheet glass and we put a mosaic frit, clear mosaic frit on top and then full fused it down. And that's how we get all those little cells and stuff in there. Uh, maybe, Lisa, that doesn't really, I don't know, it didn't seem like that was what was going on um, in the kits. <laughs> Phyllis says Delphi is great customer service. They do, and um, I just, I was fine with it either way, and I was like, I need glass right now. And so I went ahead and started using it, and I don't feel like I can be like, hey, you sent me the wrong kind of glass. And they're like, okay, we'll send it back. And I'm like, I can't, I already used it. <laughs> so we'll just try again next month. Um, but, so this is how it looks, like from the front side, but it also looks really cool with the light through it, which I absolutely love. Like, that makes me really happy. So that's how some of the sheets are firing down. It, like stained glass, Erin. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm dehydrated, like super dehydrated. Well, it's always an uphill battle going this way. Lord knows I'm not going to just get off of my butt. There we go. So, okay, I'm going to catch up on... If y'all have any questions for us, be sure to do the at Yvonne Williams, just like how Daniel did. We will be having a giveaway today at the 3 o'clock mark. Um, like, after we've been streaming for about an hour. Yep, just like that. Alligator skin. Yeah, Eve. Ah, Janine says got my first box of tabs and they were awesome. Thank you. I'm so glad you like them, Janine. Now, also keep in mind, um, in y'all's second month, you'll be getting half as many cabs. So we're just trying to keep everybody aware of that. That way you don't open the box and you're like, where's all my stuff, Vaughn? <laughs> Donna says, thanks for being here. I'm in isolation due to me. So, oh no, it's only been a couple of days, but I'm going bonkers. Oh, Donna, I hope you heal up well. Well, um, the first box uh, is a double, double cabs. So... <laughs> And we've already had a couple of people, and I'm perfectly fine with it, pledge, get their boxes, and then cancel. Like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I get that. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so we showed you guys, talked about that. Um, also, more news. We have um, upcoming this Friday, we are having, uh, gotcha, Janine, we are having an auction starting at 4 p.m. for our Patreon supporters and Craft Along Club members, and then going live to YouTube at 5.30. Um, ah, thank you, Daniel. And then we already talked about the giveaway. Cool! So we're actually going to head over. I love my double cab box. It felt like my birthday. Ah, Amy. <laughs> also, Friday is Pro Pool's birthday, so everybody be sure to wish Pro Pool a very happy birthday. I'm gonna have to drag the chair over there. I guess I'll walk with my legs. Because we are gonna get some crafting on today because we desperately need inventory for um, the auction. Okay, got that going. Going with it. This light going. Ah, oh, okay, geez, that's right. Okay, I'll be right back, guys.
Okie dokie, and we're back. So, it's a little quieter in here too, so hopefully, I did not forget you guys, Jean. I had to go see what Randy was up to. Um, he's in there washing cabs. How do I find my stream? There we go. He's in there washing cabs, and we have some that are like, um, they might be duds. So we may be reintroducing dud boxes. <laughs> Got peppermint white chocolate tea date. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. And it's gonna take my tablet a minute because it's a dinosaur. There we go. Let me plug in this fan. Yeah. Alrighty. I figured I'd hang out in here and do some wire wrapping. Uh, do you want to come hang out or? Nah. Oh, all right. <laughs> Love the what? What's a dang dankies? What's a danky? What makes a cab a dud? Um. Do you want to bring? Thank you for bringing. Actually, Randy, my beloved. Could you put more water in this and bring me those three duds so I can show people? Thank you. I know <laughs> you're not my water boy. You're my water man. Uh. <laughs> Dangles. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, hey, Nanzilla. How's it going? Uh, and I will show you as soon as the Randy Squatch brings the duds in here i just i don't like I'm just abandoning you guys whenever uh the stream's going oh boy so daily cleanup of the workstation no, it wasn't three. huh it wasn't three. Oh, how many was it oh it was four we almost have enough for a whole dud box So, crap. Okay, I am going to go grab a tripod, though. Okay. You'd think this is the sort of thing I'd be able to anticipate and get prepared before the, the start of the live stream. But you'd be wrong. There we are. Let's make sure the volume's down all the way. There we go. I'm going to flip this around so I can plug it in. Oh my gosh, right, Jean? No, this thing has been the absolute best for helping. You wouldn't tell it, but it is helping tremendously in tidying up my workspace. Oh. So I'm going to move the phone. I know that that makes it all pixelated and stuff, but bear with us. You may need to refresh after we get everything moved. Oh, well, thanks, Christy. And I just feel really, feel really bad because I know that, like, in my heart, I'm an asshole. And I just want to be less of an asshole and not, like, inflict myself on people. Um... <laughs> right above the magical rummage bin okay so this piece was made with um a bit of sheet glass that like i guess the edge maybe still had some of that etched texture from having when it cooled it pulled it up yeah whenever it cools it pulls the um the kiln paper up with it uh and then i would capped it hoping that that would kind of take care of it but it still has that on there now granted we could grind that off and then refire it this one has a bit as well which we may just try to do that instead of sending them out in a dud box and then this one and remember it's just on the um surface we can grind it off but it's whenever it's like this one here where some is actually trapped inside underneath the glass that we used to dome it <laughs> Tasher says, love the hair. What sparked that change? Well, I'm glad you like it, Taz. Um, 
I don't know, I kind of, I was just feeling kind of bored, like, with my dreads. Like, there were a lot of work, and I just wasn't, like, feeling it anymore. And I was like, uh, last time I got that way about my hair, I was like, well, I'm either going to get a perm or a pixie cut. And I would gotten a perm last time. And I was like, this time, thinking about it, I was like, well, we've, we've, I've got an upcoming four-day backpacking trip that I'm really nervous about. And let's go pixie cut. And I went pixie cut, and I, I absolutely love it. <laughs> Lisa says it gives them character. It does. It gives it definitely something. But I think if I, I think some people, if they um, you know, pay twenty or thirty dollars or even just ten dollars for a cab box and then got a cab like this, oops, super durable though, um, they might be dissatisfied, you know, because that's not the expectation. And like this one, it has some trapped in there. Are you bringing some good ones to look at? Oh my gosh, we got a bunch of dutters, don't we? Mm -hmm. So here's just a couple more. I'll keep that in mind next time and not use that edge glass. Yeah. So, or we could probably grind it down when it's all still in the sheet. Mm. But then sometimes it pulls something really wicked cool off like this. Can I see? Oh, uh, now these ones though, these aren't dudders at all. These are, you know, kind of what, um, I think people hopefully expect in their kits this kind of quality and clarity and stuff. Um, Bev says, is that color being a jerk? No, it's, um, we had a big sheet of that color, um, and these were just all of the edge pieces, so I don't think it's the color as much as, um, just the way that that sheet was um ah rebel says i now have three kilns my microwave has been on more in the past week than it ever did when we used it for food <laughs> the addiction is strong with this one it, it's an easy thing to do rebel it is a extra slippery slope of addiction on this craft ah uh, thanks viola uh brian says yvonne do you ever tumble your own stones well we have a tumbler uh we haven't tumbled stones in it because if we were to use the um like the the stuff that you put in it to like the tumbling medium then we wouldn't be able to polish metal in there anymore i think that like th that we if we were to cross contaminate those compounds it would make things complicated so now we do have just buckets of quartz crystal that randy like uh not quartz crystal that has like points on it like this piece here but um just rough nuggets um that randy and i have been wanting to tumble but it's just a matter of you know like uh like carol bringing up the air compressor earlier it's like there's things that we flip so much from um craft to craft that oftentimes something that we're like at that moment it's so like man we really need this like let's do this thing and then it turns out that it's we just don't use it as much as what we thought we would or we have projects that we'd like to do that would use it but we just haven't found time for because we're focusing on other things so we just we haven't expanded into getting the rock tumbler um how do you grind them down loretta we have a um a grinder for glass it's like um it's a self-lubricating diamond like router bit almost that's like a tabletop like it's a table platform that's like waffle board that way it catches like the water and the glass um with the little bit that comes up out of it that's a little diamond bit and then it, it like pumps up water into the sponge that's touching the bit that way it keeps it cool and clean and then we just kind of like grind it down whenever we um whenever we get out the grinder to do a couple of pieces we'll do a tutorial on it that way uh, we can kind of show you guys how we go about that um, hey Teresa just got home from doctors oh goodness yeah good luck with that Teresa pain management is is rough so good luck Ah, right on, Brian. Oh, I have no idea for getting raw obsidian. Maybe somebody in the chat knows. Oh, lemony water. Okay, so 
This guy's been sitting on the bench for like um, two months. Um, so we need to. Um, okay, sorry guys, the uh, whoop, the app crashed, but we're back from out of space. <laughs> Rebel says I use because when I start selling glass cab pendants and droves, someone is going to buy me a proper desktop kiln. You know, honestly, it, it's a really great investment too, Rebel. If you have the ele like the electrical um, to support it, it's the electrical yeah, yeah, the uh, electrical outlet to support it. You loving on that kitty? I'm torturing the poor sleeping creature. Oh, yeah, loving on the kitty. Hey, Randy, <clears throat> could I hand all of these back to you? Sure. You mean you don't want your desk cover? I mixed them. Oh, how nice of you. <laughs> Just for you, Randy, I mixed them. So, a bit of a redundant question. What's up? The good ones? Yeah. Those are tile, yeah? Yeah. I know it's confusing because they have that shimmer, but they're not quite dichro. Okay. So I'm just going to make some, like, cute stuff with the scrap wire that's just sitting all over our uh, desk at the moment. And I'm making sure it's still in live chat. So, Q&A time while we craft. If anybody has any questions or anything like that, I'd love to be helpful to you, if we can. Aaron says, how are the animals? Sweaty and old. <laughs> Sam and Z are doing pretty good. Uh, all of the outside animals are ready for it to be winter. Um... I don't know what TFW means. You get such an epic thread snarl. Early in a project, we take the whole thing apart. Ooh, oh, Brooke, that's rough. Yeah, we do. That one lonely red tile. That feeling went. Okay, thanks. Does para wire melt? Can I make ball head pins from it? Um. Bev, it does. If you're using their enameled stuff, be very careful because enameling does not hold up under the torch and it can actually kind of spark and pop and flick and stuff. Um, but their bare copper wire from Parawire is phenomenal. Um, melts just beautifully uh, for making ball head pins and stuff like that. Um, Jim says garden. <laughs> Um, the garden's going well. We're, we have a top secret project going on out there that uh, we'll unveil over on the vlog. So, out of curiosity, are you going to edit out where you started running around the yard like crazy? No. No, okay. no I'm going to leave that in. Yeah. Uh, if that even got captured in the time lapse anyhow. Yeah, we were working last night on the garden, and I guess whatever gel I was using in my hair some bug took either interest in or offense to because it attacked me like randy said what was it two inches long it, it was huge. and i asked him i was like was it a hummingbird like did they get in like a hummingbird's like territory or too close to its nest or something and he's like no i'm pretty sure it was a bug but it was giant and it chased my happy ass all over the yard and i actually had to go inside like it would not stop pursuing me um so I ran all the way inside, but I'd taken the drill with me, and Randy was like, I can't keep working without the drill. <laughs> so I had to go back outside. Um, and then it was fine for like 10 or 15 minutes until it attacked me again. <sighs> so that was that. I don't know if it was a killer hornet or anything. Uh, Bonnie says, what happened to your frogs? They just like, one day we had tadpoles, and the next, the, the, we had an empty pond. Um... Brooke says, does bare copper melt at a similar temperature to silver? I have no idea, Brooke. Uh, honestly, uh, that would be something to ask Google, but maybe somebody in chat knows. 
Nanzilla says, Bonnie, I bet the chickens ate the tadpoles. I don't know if they'd be able to, because, like, the, we have very deep ponds. Like, well, deeper in what a chicken can manage. Um, a spill-proof hammock? No, nah, Jim. <laughs> no such thing. That's called the ground. And even then I fall off. Hashtag flatter. Now, why are you allowed to talk about flatter? <laughs> um... Ooh, Aaron says, what new tools slash machines have you gotten in the past six months to expand your crafting arsenal? Um, Propol, I don't know if the fish ate them because one pond we have fish in and the other one we don't, and the tadpoles disappeared from both. So I'm, I'm sure the fish did eat some of them, but aliens. just for it to, aliens, Randy says, just for it to have happened so like, boom, immediately. Um, I don't know. Uh, new, well, we got the kiln. Like Christmas, the auctions from Christmas time went really, really well, and we got a bead kiln. So now we do lampwork glass, which I'm really excited about. When we find the time, yeah, I haven't touched like a month. So if anybody ever sends like gifts, like these decals here, absolutely love these decals. Have not had a single chance to actually use them, um, and it's just well, I bite off more than I can chew on Andy. Uh, on a daily basis so never mean personal offense to not be using something that somebody sent uh, but we got little blue there and then we've got I know it makes it all pixelated I actually need to reload and then um, we got and this one we're in crazy stupid amounts of debt for uh, a glow forge for making glow forge things I tried reupholstering a chair that didn't work out too well Oh, yeah, no, but the pile of the other one that I haven't gotten to yet oh, yeah. is in there. But it really took the heart out of me. Look at that sleeping cat, y'all. Like, what the heck? What are you doing, Callie? Just laying there being the cutest darn little squish bean I've ever seen in my whole life. Can we get chinny chin chin? <laughs> look at them toe beans. Look at them. Oh, look at them. Oh, such a good kitty. Your little teeth. I love you, Callie. Oh, I go get that chin. Go get that chin. Go get them teeth. Can I see your teeth? I'm gonna see your teeth. Oh, nom 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 nom. Nom nom nom. Who's a good girl? <laughs> no, Callie's not the boss. She's the assistant manager. Ember is the boss, and she's hiding. Um, but yeah, I'd started to reupholster a chair, and this is it, you guys. After we cleaned it, we cannot have nice things because of our pets, and so it completely took the heart out of me to be doing all of this work, uh, reupholstering just to have it be a complete and total, um fur fest after like a week of just like I don't know if I chose the wrong fabric or what but I cannot get the fur out of it um so that really took the steam out of that and it's uh we completely revamped everything like our entire business because conventions aren't really a thing anymore <laughs> so <laughs> there's been a lot of changes in the last six months actually Erin <laughs> oh yeah Ember's kicking it hard she loves sleeping and glaring at us. Are you going to try tape? You try and tape. Um, but we're actually back to making videos again, which is really nice. We took a little bit too much of a break over the past year. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. There's a little bit of a lot. There's a little bit. It looks like you waxed it. Yeah, I'm waxing the chair. Waxing the chair. Um, <laughs> Jean, I'm kind of just practice warming up on some spirals right this minute. Hey, Randy. Yeah. I'm going to ask you to not do that while we're streaming. That is very loud. Yeah, it doesn't work that well. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Now, we haven't tried the actual brush attachment for the big vacuum. But get it at the source. Let's get it at the No, don't wax the cat. Randy, you stop that. <laughs> yeah, that is a painful sound. 
Oh, something that we got that's the biggest change is we actually got a, a label printer, which uh, changed our life. <laughs> Christine says, hi, Vaughn. Hey, Christine. Love your hair. Thank you. Have you still got both your dogs? We do. We have a Z dog and a Sam dog. So this is Z. <laughs> yeah, but they don't know the difference. This is Z dog. Yeah, Ember won't let them sit in the chair. This is you, dog. He's a good little bean. And he likes to chew up tissues out of the trash because he's nasty. You're a nasty boy. And then that same dog who's also a nasty boy. Look at you being a dog. Oh, mommy loves both of you. What are you doing, Z? This is Sam. They live for scratch scratches. Oh, you got dandruff, boy. It's bath time again, huh? <laughs> So, yeah, we've still got both the dogs, both the kitties. It's, it's been a wonderfully um, no mortality rate, like zero mortality rate year so far. Boob the snoot. <laughs> that says, at least you guys have already stepped back from conventions before the Rona hit. One of the few times things turned out fab in the long run. Right? Yeah, it, it seemed like... In hindsight, we made all of the right decisions, it seems, to have to have played out really nicely. Um, Nanzilla says, Vaughn, do you notice a difference in Sam now that the tumor is gone? We do. Uh, Sam's doing much better. He's much more comfortable. His back hip is still really bothering him, but that was from an old injury uh, when he had been hit by a car when we lived in Tennessee. Um, we're very grateful to now live somewhere that has a fence around the yard to kind of keep them safe. Yeah, Z's definitely, Sam and Z both are rocking the uh, salt and pepper, pepper look. Um, is Craft Along still on or in limbo? We have canceled Camp Craft Along. Um, just with it being three mile, or three hour drive, <laughs> three miles would have been nice, but with it being a three hour drive from the nearest airports and just no nearby hotels and, um, a lot of people just being like, you know, I know I can get a refund on this, but I don't know if I'll be able to get a refund on the flight, and I don't even know if flights will be a thing um, in March 2021. Um, so we just kind of canceled it and refunded everybody. The dream is still alive, but it is in hiatus for now. Um. <laughs> yeah, they're little goobers. Yeah, Sam had, oh, he had a huge, like, softball-sized tumor on the side of him. Because whenever we had called and scheduled the appointment, um, it was, uh, gosh, like, like, about this big and only stuck out about that far. And then in, like, a month, it grew to, like, like, this big. And it stuck out about this far. Like, he couldn't lay on that side of his body. Um, what is the stone on your right? The sediment, Jasper? And then, ooh, I know I showed y'all in our member exclusive stream on Saturday, but let's just sit here in awe of this pretty stinking rock. Oh. Oh, right on, Edman. Well, I'm glad to be helpful to you. It's been a minute, a, a minute, uh, <laughs> a minute. It's been a minute, Beth, uh, but we did see Abby. Oh, gosh. Was it last week or the week before? It's been a hot minute. Might have been the week before. Time is a construct. Ooh, nerd girl, I did get your card. If you're here. Thank you, and I miss you, and I hope you're doing good. <laughs> Super shiny. And I absolutely love that this one, like the back, it just looks very unassuming, and then boom. Flash. Oh, was that last week, Pi? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Get this stuff sorted. So I do have a project that I need to fix for a client. Because this is something that we do free repairs on all of our work. Um, so if something breaks, just pick up the pieces, send it to us, and we fix it and send it back to you. If it's one of the instances when we're just not able to, we do let you know and we kind of work something out from there. But typically, we can 
we can always fix it unless it's been like burnt <laughs> like we can't really fix fire damage um so much and if it's one of our leather pieces uh if you go swimming in it that is also something i can't really fix too well so keep that in mind Ooh, Christy says, anything new in your quest towards organization? Um, just more floundering about. Um, I mean, you redid this over here. What's that over there? Yeah, we did. We can show you guys a quick tour of... Well, the wire wrapping station is still like breaking things up into stations has probably been the absolute best thing we could have ever done um yeah oh no you're great nerd girl i hope you're i hope you're healing up well this is still our kind of our catch-all art uh shelf this is our polymer clay station and resin casting <laughs> which sits in much neglect um much, much, much neglect. Um, over here, this is our shipping and glass station. So we have like a lot of our shipping materials and stuff, all of our glass. Uh, well, all of our fused glass station. That is our Lampert glass station that has some chain mill and other things. These were the best thing we could have possibly gotten for organizing because with these huge drawers, we're able to store all of these big, heavy things. And they just close back so nice. They're so dusty, you guys. Oh my gosh, I need to, oh, I need help. And so this is where we keep like our art portfolio and stuff um but just having these huge drawers sorely misusing that one um but this one here has like this is like a 40 pound bag of studio nuggets and this is that polymer clay from judy uh kiln wash another like just having all this space for these big pieces and then in here we've got just a whole bunch of like our big scales and things so even though it's over in our glass station um there we go uh, it's not really glass in the bottom, but it does a great job of holding up our little kiln. And then, I really need to put those hair curlers away. Um, and then that's Randy's station, where he does all the printing and everything. He gets like two square feet in the whole room. Yeah, guys, this has been the biggest change in our whole life, is this, this label printer. For, for anybody who keeps up with our vlog, um... It changed our life <laughs> and we show you that in the vlog and so this is where we run the big kiln and then that's kind of like my desk where I sit and talk to my plants about the woes of the world and then also my very much neglected leather working station so splitting things up into stations and having we, we made a huge expanse into more of these drawers just because it helps so much to keep things from being like all jumbly mess like that that's so much more organized to me and I, I need to figure out something for that um hey Sabrina Whew. but yeah so this is and then we're going on a backpacking trip well I'm going on a backpacking trip um and so that's all my backpacking crap uh on the table cat. sans cat she's not coming oh who's a pretty little girl we got a scuzzy what is that was that a flea yes it was I got it though no I didn't no, it's just, that's not a flea, it's a little scuzzy. Give me that little... Oh, no! Got it. No, I didn't. I don't know what it was. We gotta put more flea meds on, on the cat, baby. Okay. She goes roughhousing about in the wild and brings home fleas to everybody. So, Sam and Z take pills that that gives them. But as it gets close to the end of the month... Oh, poor kitten got fleas. Poor little girl. We'll do like how they did when your kids 
So now that I have fleas and all my backpacking gear. <laughs> I reckon Callie would love backpacking and getting her harness that she can explore too. Hmm. Hmm. Jean says, can you drill into plastic over oval? Will it break? Um, that depends a lot on the plastic. And I've always gone kind of low and slow on, um, on plastic just so that it can kind of carve into it more than anything and also something that you need to watch out for almost more than breaking and cracking is it melting to your bit nanzil says i wonder if people take their cats camping i want to take mine so bad i personally would never bring my cats camping just because they don't come when they're called um and they're not quite pack animals, so I'm not saying that people can't successfully take their cats camping, but um, I would hate to risk losing Ember and her being in unfamiliar territory, um, and they're just, I don't know, none of my cats have had the right um, disposition for it. Ah, Christine says, love your work studio in your house. Oh, your garden reminds me of my husband's uncle's garden in Hungary. Right on. Oh, well, thanks, nerd girl. We're really liking it. It's just been a matter of just, man, this year has been really crazy and somehow has lasted about 30 years and but also taken up two minutes. Um, oh, uh, pro, hey, Randy. I got it. Okay. Uh, I don't know what brand it is, pro pool, but Randy, I think, is typing that up for you. So I'm going to try to make like a little charm bracelet or something. I don't know. Oops. As a crafty seller, what's your opinion on PayPal versus Square? Um, Alyssa, that's really hard to answer. Mostly because I don't pay close enough attention as what I should. We, we actually technically use both. Um, out of the booth, like our good friends, uh, some of our good vendor friends, we use PayPal out of their booth and we use square out of our booth just because that's kind of what we were using um and on our website it's hosted by squarespace so our payments are processed through square um but we run our subscription service through paypal um i, I don't know if i would recommend one over the other i actually think i prefer reporting taxes through square a little bit easier like I actually kind of like Square's interface um, but there's some elements of PayPal that I really really love that we can almost kind of use it as a business bank account and we're able to just take transactions with PayPal and then pay for materials out of those transactions so it lets us chart our expenses and profits like more um, side by side so I don't know in particular if one is actually better than the other as far as like fees and stuff go but i do know that on our website weebly <clears throat> excuse me um and i don't know if this is like this for everybody's websites but for ours hosted through weebly if we use paypal for our shopping cart as a payment method they had they've been having some glitches where like if somebody added something to their cart but tried to pay for it sometimes it wouldn't go through but it would remove the item from our inventory which sucks <laughs> so um ah propool says i'm using paypal and stripe stripe is cheaper and handles subscriptions see we don't have a stripe account um so that's something i don't know anything about propool but it's good to hear somebody's experience. Honestly, I've gotten so much spam email from like fake Stripe. Like, you know, you have, you know, th this payment didn't go through. And I'm like, I don't even use Stripe. What are you talking about? So that we, we've just gotten so much like spam associated with it that I was like, ah, I'm not even going to bother with that. Um, though I'm sure that there are people who have had that experience with PayPal. So there's that. Ah, oh, right on. Mitch says, I love Stripe. They've always worked well with us. Right on. 
that may be something that over time um, Randy and I look into for providing subscription service in addition to PayPal. But I didn't want to, um, here in the beginning, I didn't want to be spread over two different payment processors. Ah, oh, well, thank you so much, Ed. Ah, that's very generous of you. Thank you. So going through, and this is a necklace that a client had returned to us to be repaired. And it just looks like some of the links got pulled apart. And she also said that she has it hooked where she likes to wear it. But she wants it where the clasp sits in the middle. So that looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to bring this one eight down. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to bring it eight in over on this side. <clears throat> Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very cool. And then I think what we might do is actually toss this into the tumbler to clean it up before I send it back home to her. Well, that's still not sitting in the middle. Great. <laughs> there we go. Um, Danielle says, is this a resize? Um, it's not. It's a, um, whenever we make necklaces and sell them out of the booth, <coughs> excuse me, not the Rona, just like dehydrated. Mm. Um, we make it so that the necklaces can be hooked anywhere along the chain. And oftentimes, if somebody likes wearing their necklaces longer, they would hook it like that. And in which case, the counterweights aren't centered. Um, but she had wanted it to where they'd be a little bit more centered up. Yeah, actually, I've been needing, desperately needing, um, to make more of this style of necklace but this is just a shaggy loops style with a bunch of wrapped loop like wrapped uh dangles wrap it's like a wrapped link but with a head pin on one end just hanging on down so there is that i'm really glad to have gotten that taken care of i need to send that back to her putting that in my mailbox oh um how many house plants do you have oof um, around 20, maybe? I don't know, I haven't actually counted. Let's do a count. Excuse me. We have this one, very sad aloe vera on. We have on the front, so that's three, four. There's a plant cutting in there. Um got five and six and seven in the back bathroom but I'm not gonna got one in the bedroom um so there's eight not including this area so eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two Okay, so that's not that bad. There's only 32. I could use more. Do what? See what? Oh, yeah, it's super pixelated. Sorry, guys. This is life now. This is actually much better than it was. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Daniel says 43. I thought I said 32. Do what? You want to hang out here? You've got four minutes. Yeah, let me go grab a tripod. Okay. But I like my plants. They're a constant reminder that even minimal effort can pay off over time. <laughs> so, pixel squatch, right? Okay, getting flipped around. There we go. 
and let's pick out something for the giveaway. for all your plants? No, uh, only one of them. As, well, two of them are named. Sec, you guys, this got all tangled. It was a thing that wasn't supposed to be in there. I just popped it in for storage. Because I was making a giveaway pile and I just crammed it all into a couple of boxes. Mm hmm. I'm really glad we have updated. There we go. Okay. Just broke off. Yeah, it's good. It's good as Okay, so that's all buggered up. But this is today's giveaway. We have, ooh, it looks like an earring kit and some of our old polymer clay cabochons. So that is really cool. So if you would like a chance to, I'm gonna grab my chair. You got two minutes. I know. I'll just stand then, I guess. Oh, I got my saddle seat right here, okay. Eee! It's stuck on my pants, there we go. <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> did you cut your hair? It's looking like a 90s Demi Moore right now. And you I'm cut your it. hair? Oh, I didn't. I paid a <laughs> professional to, and I love it. Well, thank you. I'm glad you like it. It's. I wish I were better at styling it. I wanted like a faux hawk, but eh. <laughs> I'm not very good at styling it. Um, yeah, just set that aside. I know you did. You're wonderful. Thank you. Ah, you did great. Stop swinging it. You're going to hit something. <laughs> so what are the names? Hey, Amber in Utah. Oh, the names of the houseplants. Um, Apophis, the Pothos of Doom, um, which I did not realize is also the name of the meteor that's coming by in, like, what, six more years or something? I think it's in ah! December. Ah! Seriously? I think so. 2020, why? Um, and then there's also Madison, which is a Peperomia, a non-variegated variety that we were up in Madison, Wisconsin with my good friend Lara while she was still in college. Um, and we went up to visit her and uh, there was the Madison Street Festival was happening. And we were walking around the Madison Street Festival eating cheese and sitting on the uh, the square of like the Capitol. Um, and uh, one when of, you're in Wisconsin. Because when you're in Wisconsin. What else are you going to do but eat cheese? Yeah, well, we summer. also went apple picking and that was phenomenal. We did. Gosh, I miss Lars so much. It's November 3rd. November 3rd of this year? Yeah. The meat Apophis is coming? Yeah. I'm going to have to like. We gotta Put, do the dishes. We gotta do the dishes. Apophis is coming. <laughs> Don says, I'm from Madison. Right away, we were at the Madison Street Festival, and this was like in 2009, maybe? Maybe 2010? I don't know. It was in the past, uh, rel relatively time wise. And one of the vendors was selling cuttings, like little potted up cuttings of plants, and Lara and I both bought um, plants. And she named hers Alora because that's where we lived at the time. I don't know if the name stuck, but, uh, and I named mine Madison because, I don't know, and they're like our friendship plants. And that's all of my other Peperomias are offshoots of that one. So it is the, the mother of many. Yes. Many. <laughs> like, we've got one in the bathroom. We've got two about the one in, in the there. Kitchen. Oh, yeah, we got 33, 34. We've got 34 houseplants. Oh, shit. I thought did, you were at do, do the, no, I don't remember. Um, 
do the potted up succulents that are currently outside, but I'm going to bring inside, do those count as current house plants? Because that means. Thirty-nine. You don't have a problem. And there's also like twelve more aloe plants that are outside. Eh. <laughs> yeah, I probably have a problem. Just out of curiosity, are you guys done with polymer clay tabs now? For for the time, for the time being, again, it's we only have so much time in a day, unfortunately, um, and we feel much more confident about the quality of our glass caps and, and that's something that i want to show you guys it takes forever to do the polymer clay stuff it is it is very labor intensive and time intensive like we were making what 700 of them in three weeks yeah and now we can get 100 cabs out of one kiln batch and what's more is it would be three weeks of almost every day us spending Doing three, something to them. Three or four hours a day, either taping them and cabbing them with resin or doing the clay, or like it was such a huge labor intensive part of our day every single day. And at least two hours of it would be me hunched over with a bottle of resin with a respirator on and the headlamp so I could see what I was doing. Um, just very carefully trying to apply just the right amount of doming resin without overflowing it. Um, and then, and then there was the time I opened the front door and the and wind it, picked up and, and it blew dust and every single cab over every single cab that day had at least one dog hair in it if not more and that's when we introduced our dead boxes because we were like oh god <sighs> so yeah um so these are I'm gonna hand these to you just real quick I'm gonna and then I'm gonna go grab four randomly out of our ca uh, glass Oh, not even all of these are capped. Hmm? Not even all of these are capped. Okay. Well, I've got some more over here that I'll grab. You're getting half done projects, kind of. Well, those were of a style that I was experimenting with, like, doming them. No, yeah, this was your butterfly wing cane that you made. Mm -hmm. See, I'm member. I member things. Member? I'm member. How are you doing? I'm rummaging out with a few more. Oh, the ones I handed you yesterday. Yeah. So, just to kind of give you guys an example, um, these were some of the cabs that we had done. And this was, we actually made, that was a bunch of old canes. But we had, so this was a polymer clay cabochon. And it's pretty nice, but the quality on the sides. Like, I feel like if somebody were to get this and they don't know what goes into making it, that they might feel like maybe it looked cheap or unfinished or something. Like, I don't know. And then this was a Mocha Mogane cane that we had. And these really brighten up if you do put, like, a varnish or something on them. <clears throat> yeah, yeah they, they come to life. Like. Yeah. And then here are some that we had cabbed with resin. And while they looked really nice, we've had complaints from people about how thin they were. Um, and there's like, there's an, an association, I'm not sure where it comes from, but just if, if something is heavy, it feels more valuable. Like, you know what I mean? And these are very, very lightweight, but we had had just a couple of people, like very rarely do we get these kind of complaints, but we do pay attention to them because we wonder how many times people have had that complaint in their heart and just not communicated it. Um, but of our cabs seeming and feeling cheap, but it's like we have to sell them for eight dollars because they're so, like, first off, they're not cheap to make because polymer clay costs, resin costs, paint costs, uh, time. We don't even factor in time hardly. Um, but and so like this is one, and I think they're really pretty, but um, they're very labor intensive. They're very labor intensive, and I just I didn't feel confident in selling them for like none none of those sold for eight dollars but like our um we have some here like our bigger ones would sell like and we do stamp effects and stuff and it was very nice and i like using them in finished pieces when people like feel like there's more value to it but like these ones where they don't have the finished edges like and it's like but we just we didn't have the time to put more energy into the pieces um you know what i mean mm -hmm. And then we'd be giving people like one cab in their cab box. Yeah. And they're that people don't Back sit then, well for that. They got one cab, 
Maybe two. They got one cab, one resin, one wood burn. And the, this was before we had the Glowforge. And we were still doing a lot of polymer clay when we had the Glowforge. Okay, you're right, because it was in March that we got the kiln. Mm -hmm. What a two months. But then ones like this one, where everything went perfectly, and it was going so well, but then the resin didn't reach, and I know you can't see because it's pixelated and out of focus, but where the resin didn't reach the tips, so something that would we, we would normally sell for like 8 to $10, we're now having to sell for like a dollar in our dud box because if we send them out where the resin doesn't touch the tips, you might not complain, but somebody does. <laughs> and that keeps me up at night and I feel like a failure and miserable. And so this is something, this is a change that we made, not for y'all, but for me, because I need to be able to feel confident in what I'm doing. And so in contrast, these are the glass caps that we make. Also with all of these, um, where's one that you wouldn't mind me breaking? This one? Yeah. Okay. With all of our resin and polymer clay caps, do you have your green handle pliers? Like let's say that you're wire wrapping with them and your pliers slip. Whoa, that went right underneath my hurt fingernail. Yay. <clears throat> So let's say your pliers slip, and I didn't even do it that hard, and it is now buggered up. Like, it's minute, but it's there. Again, I know you can't see because it's blurry and pixelated and out of focus, but you can feel with your fingernail and you can see when the light hits it, and that wasn't even like a true, when your pliers slip, they like get stabby, like hard. <laughs> um, you know what I mean, I though. know exactly what you mean. Um, so, aside from that, and then also, oh, well, I can't break it. Well, that's really good. This one isn't breaking. We've had some of them, the longer ones especially, you can just break in half. Um, and all other things aside, what are you going to... So, that wow. one's holding together it's pretty well. Now. Yeah, you can bend them and stuff, but some of them, yeah. like the long... I don't want to break the crescent moon, but no. the longer, narrow ones can break pretty easily. But all of these other facts aside, the resin yellows, even the high quality resins that super terrible, even though I tried to just show that it wasn't, um, <laughs> um, even the highest quality resins that we've used over like the length of like, let's say like five years later, they've yellowed. Um, and that's just something that we want to not happen. You know, if somebody buys something and it's one color, we want it to stay that color. And so, I'm going to flip this around. Okay. Well, it just, it keeps focusing, like, on my head. How dare it. How dare it. So, I'm going to flip that around. There. You might need to refresh, if y'all can hear me. Whoop. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that is super pixelated. There we go. So here you can see, these are some of the glass cabs that we do. They have a nice thickness to them. You don't have to worry about them yellowing. They don't scratch up easily. They have a nice weight to them without being heavy. And we can get some really cool dichro effects. And what's really great about these is it doesn't matter if you leave it out in the sun. It doesn't matter anything. They, these colors will stay these colors forever. So, in these, they're just, for the most part, with the exclusion of those two wow. dichroic, what? It was so pixelated, you couldn't tell that that was a stone. I just looked like part of my hand. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I was like, oh, what's wrong well, with your sorry, guys, for the pixels, but we feel much more confident in, um, we feel much more confident in the quality of our glass cab, and at the end of the day, if people say, like, if we get negative feedback about our glass cabs, I can still sleep at night because I know we're doing the absolute best that we can. I... And they're very durable. Super durable! Um, yes, very durable. Like, um, I drop these in the sink all the time. And we have a porcelain sink, so if they were going to break, we'd have broke it. Um, and also, it doesn't matter a lick if you get dauber in them when you're making them. It just that, burns away. It just burns away. <laughs> But, um, so it's at the end of the day, knowing that I'm doing the absolute best that I can, 
um, gives me so much more confidence and just being able to function day to day as a business person. Um, are we ready? Yes. Well, let me what, catch up on people's getting, comments. What are we giving away? All those cabs that I just told everybody how crappy they are. <laughs> Congratulations! Congratulations! You get some of our cabs that hopefully we will never be this bad at making cabs ever again. So let's go ahead and just to we'll double it. Oh. They'll get some of the resin ones. <laughs> you in know there. what I like about the glass? Huh? You don't get our fingerprints. Yeah. In the clay that's under the resin. I know. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. Polymer clay, as much as I love it. It's, uh, it's got its time, it's, it's got its place. It is, and I will always work with polymer like clay as well. And I'd like to get well. back to it. Yeah, it's I just, just, after doing it for what, a year and a half, mm -hmm. every single day, the same thing, because that's the thing, is whenever we're fulfilling our um, membership boxes, it doesn't give us a whole lot of room for creativity, because we were doing oh. our craft along kits, so we needed to have the same thing in every kit, that way everybody got the same thing, which is like... For the person fulfilling the kids, that's the creativity killer. Pretty hard. Being like, oh, do 700 of the same thing. And I'm like, oh. I'll place it in the package this way. I'm a rebel. Um, but yeah, so we've actually doubled, and you get one of our Crescent Moon cabs. Um, we've doubled the amount of cabs in this one. Look at yeah. the cabs. Okay, so if you guys last chance if you want to win these cabs um go leave a comment on uh last week's live stream i think yep daniel has shared the link thank you daniel um you took my pen i've taken a lot of your pens here's one this is not the pen you took from me. i know i'm sorry hey diane how's it going all right um, no not the glass cabs the old polymer gray ones Oh, you're not complaining at all, Tashers. It's we know that there were a lot of people who really loved our polymer clay cabs. Um, I am a major pen thief. <laughs> now, if you're talking about like the new subscription boxes, yes, those get glass cabs. Yeah, those are all glass cabs. Yes, Aaron, they're uh, glass cabs in the new cab boxes. And I think moving forward, when we get back into making polymer clay cabs, we will probably just post them up for sale on our website. And that way I can truly give my singular attention to that cab and make it perfect and make it everything that I wanted it to be. Um, now, <laughs> Aaron says, okay, I'm full print. <laughs> now, Aaron, the first package you get from our website will be double, a double cabs. cabs so yep. Um, also. We've had some questions from people about if they can request certain wire colors. No. And that is not the case. So, and a lot of people are like, oh, you keep sending me like these antique copper and copper tones and I don't use those, I use silver. And I'm like, silver costs about at least four times as much as the other enameled colors um, because it is silver plated. Um, and so we don't often put silver in the kits. If you like our cabs, but don't necessarily want the wire, I'd recommend our $10 cab box. Because it's just cabs. I need square wire. Right on, Pro Pool. Hopefully we'll be sending those out next month. Uh, I hope we have enough to fulfill it. But also, Parawire is pretty affordable. And, um, and I'd recommend maybe placing an order we use in all of our tutorials and projects. 18 gauge square and 18 gauge half round. And uh, if you're used to working with like 16 or 18 gauge wire, um, those would work out pretty well for you, I think. Trying to start a scam overall, but I'm struggling. Oh no! Um, we start at the one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five for the scales, and we expand it to its widest point. She's got a video for this. We do have a video. Okay, we're doing the giveaway now. Before Randy has a straight up aneurysm. Do what did I say? Giveaway? Why do I have an aneurysm? Because I can hear you being like, can we please do the giveaway? Sure. Uh. <laughs> so we go to randomcommentpicker.com slash YouTube. Ta -da. Um, and then we put in the link for the video that y'all commented on and yep and then we filter out the duplicate users and then he clicks get YouTube comments as of before it was at 96 mm -hmm. it is now at 121 commenters good luck y'all so hey, he the odds F will be in your favor mm -hmm. yeah okay. it's, it's the salute from Hunger Games is that what that's yeah. called yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I like it's from something so it's much. It's probably older. from some other things okay. too, but like that's the most recent thing that I. Okay, sure. we're clicking Ready? the button. Here we go. <laughs> Tracy Anderson hey. says, love your hair. Well, I'm glad that you do. I like it too. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, Tracy Anderson. Congratulations. If you could send us an email at backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com with where you would like for us to ship to, um, we'll get it shipped out to you probably, oh gosh, if you email us immediately, we can get it out this afternoon. Um, but just uh, email us. Tomorrow tomorrow yeah it's, uh we'll print the shipping label as soon as you send us an email um but the mailman is uh pretty hit and miss about when he actually picks up our packages so we've been having to like wrap our heads up in bubble wrap and then go in and drop them off at the post office like yeah <laughs> like he will not pick up our mail and i'll be out there being like excuse me sir and he's like <laughs> and just goes i'm like okay that's fine yeah so that's that basically. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go back in here. I love you. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, the cat's washing her butt. Well, she was. How dare she? How dare she? The audacity. <laughs> Okie dokie. Already choky. I want some water because my throat hurts. And I'm going to try to... Okay, I have not been able to see any of y'all's questions and comments while I was in there. So if you guys had a question or something uh, that didn't get answered, now is... Come on, bangs. We can do this. Now is the perfect time to resend them with the at Yvonne Williams. That way I can see that you're asking me a question. Um, ooh, Alyssa says, do you have your own shipping label printer or do you use a regular printer? Until here very recently, Alyssa, we just used our regular printer, cut it out by hand, and then taped it on. It was about... Hey, babe. For How much was it for the label printer and all the labels? Uh, printer itself was like 200 So it was like 250 for everything, wasn't it? So. it was about a $250 investment. <sighs> Which is so much money. I hate thinking about how expensive everything is, but, but it has cut down on the amount of time that it takes for us to actually process and get a shipment out that, um, and it freed up a whole, whole bunch more time. Um, so, and that's something that like we saved up for it over the past like six to eight months. Um, just putting a little bit aside every month and that's what you have to do. Um, well, unless you just like bushy <laughs> and Oprah rich, um, but um saving up 10 or 20 bucks here and there can really can help you to make these large investments into your business um that it's as easy now as like there's videos and stuff that came in the uh in the website actually of the label printer that they're like if you're using stamps.com or weebly or you know um and you're using like a lennox computer like it has a video for you for how to set it up and get everything like working perfectly um is there a way to take scratches out of resin cabs um you can go a couple of routes you could just dome it with more resin and hope that that doesn't booger it up further um normally that would like kind of cap over it typically the best way of dealing with it is to like sand it and then buff it and then use like they have some different polishing compounds um there's a couple of really good videos out on uh youtube not by me and randy because i am not good at it's just it's so much work <laughs> Speed in your water. all right mine but i'm drinking it and you left mine upstairs oh that's fair okay um, yeah, wet sanding. Yeah, be sure to wet sand. You do not want to breathe that crap in, you guys. Um, Alyssa says, if I were rich, I'd be a happy girl because I'm not a crazy spender. I get what I need in a few months here and there. I'm not entirely certain what the last thing I bought that was not um, business related. Because don't get me wrong, I spend money like crazy person. <laughs> Like, but it's always on something that is a business expense or that, like, we're kind of expanding. The last thing I spent on something that wasn't a business expense was this haircut on my birthday. So, um, ooh, 
Ooh, I just happened to have some fans. Oh, the Craftsman did a neat carbon filter DIY. That's really, I love the Craftsman. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Alyssa. If you pinch off the babies of aloe plants, your mommy plant will grow giant plants. You can glue them back with super glue the poly clay caps. Ah, right on. That's really good to know, Dean. Yeah. Yeah, and technically, now that we're doing the vlog, um, even that counts as a business expense. And that's, uh, like, everything that we get for the garden is technically for vlog content. So it is a business expense. Um, <laughs> so as much as the IRS will let me write it off. Um, so there is that. But, uh... I don't know, I bought some new underwear like a year ago. Well, it'll be a year in December. Like, so that's a thing. And I got these new flip-flops last summer. So that's cool. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not sick, just dehydrated and sore throat from talking. Yeah, we actually, Nanzilla, we use an app that's um the Intuit TurboTax. Uh, gosh, what? I can't remember the name of the app specifically because it's on my phone and I'm using the phone to stream so I can't like go look it up. Um, but we itemize items as we, it, like it's QuickBooks. It's a QuickBook app on my phone that's linked directly to our TurboTax. So all the money in and all the money out, we track as it happens and itemize day by day because I mean really unless it's like the first of the month or something, we're not making a whole lot of expenses uh, in a single day. So it makes it much more manageable to kind of keep up with. And then it links directly to TurboTax. So we, I mean, it's very easy to import. And it's like $17 a month, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're not at all sponsored. And I am in no way, no way do I actually know what I'm talking about, you guys. I am not an accountant. I am not a tax expert. I'm just a person who hopes desperately that my idiot, idiocracy, idiosity, um, it does not get me put in jail for messing up on my taxes because I'm too much of a dork to pay somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, so if, if you have a lick of sense more than me, talk to an accountant, get professional input. So that being said... <laughs> Nanzilla says, right, I used that when I did the counting for the Billard. Oh, it's a great program. Right on. <coughs> Excuse me, goodness. Oh, I'm just saying hi again. Hey, Tim, how's it going? I think you should have a reject cab sale. Buy and use at your own risk. Your fans might find a good use for them. <laughs> That's a great tip, Tim. We actually, um... I have it hidden on the website right now because we don't have any listed, but we have um, our dud boxes, which will be like a mystery box of subpar cabochons that people, it's kind of buy at your own risk. Um, and we sell those for like, uh, with our polymer clay, we would sell it for like $5 and you would get like four or five cabs. Yeah, it's getting that way, cat. I've got some uh, rehydrating lemon and orange slices in my drinking water. And that's really nice, but it's just, for the past couple of days, I was so wrapped up in what we were doing that I didn't really drink water. Which sounds silly, but water is like the most grown-up drink of all. Oh no, Gary, what happened? I'm filling for LLC this week and trademark. Guess I'll have to get a CPA too. Ooh! Pro, you got this, man. What a wonderful birthday gift to yourself, getting your business going, and like official and stuff. <laughs> right, Gary? Yeah, like a Dr. Frankenstein body shop. <laughs> Cat's Corner says, I hate water, I drink nothing but coffee. I love water. I hate having to pee every 10 minutes. <clears throat> yeah. And that about how it goes. Well, you can only be as prepared as what you have the foresight to anticipate. So. 
Like, and that's been another thing that Randy and I have been focusing on. Um, Randy got me a dehydrator for my birthday. For uh, all y'all who follow along with the vlog, I think we have started posting content. <coughs> hey, Randy. Could you talk my water for me? Sure. Ooh, thank you, honey. So much. Thank you. The water in the fridge isn't cold. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> thank you, baby. Making little spirals. Getting those practicing. <clears throat> I don't even like the sweetener. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we've started um, prepping up for what m we hope will not be too long and too hard of a winter. But just in case, um, <clears throat> just in case, we're getting a bunch of stuff out of the garden dehydrated. We're keeping an eye out for food sales and canning up more meat um, and stuff. So. Because hopefully it will not be a rough winter, but just in case. Because also with it being, we had a couple of really mild days this summer. And in years past, whenever we've had mild days in the summer, we have some really ferocious days <clears throat> in the winter. Um, I'll, I'll slow it down for you, Tashers. Ooh, chai sun tea. I bet that would be delicious. So the way that I'm making the bales is I make the little bit of a wonky spiral and then using flat nose pliers I just make a right degree bend <clears throat> and you could use round nose pliers or some mandrel pliers and just start twisting it around. I normally like to do it building off the end of my pliers that way I can make them be all the same size, make the loops the same size. Give me just a sec, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know what is up. But that's how I make the little bales. And with this being bare copper square wire, I can actually go through and file down if we have any like little pokey bits like this one here. <clears throat> I can actually go through and file that. Sorry, I don't mean to keep coughing in y'all's ears. Oh, you have wire working muscles. I do. I have like beefcake hands. Like, I'm pretty sure if I ever... I've just been in a bulking phase for years. If I ever shred down, I'm going to have like... You're going to be able to see like my thingy veins. <laughs> like, I'm going to have big veiny fingers and scary muscle hands. <laughs> Randy just said, imagine getting a wet willy from these monsters. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Anytime, he says. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so let's try to make a pair of earrings. Because, I don't know about y'all, but whenever I'm prepping up for a show, it's really nice to have some products that are very inexpensive not just to sell but inexpensive to make and these are some gonna be some scrap wire earrings so I'm just trimming the scrap wire down to the same size if you have some whiskey it might clear your throat does rum work like would rum clear my throat let's do some shots baby <clears throat> Are we supposed to be going somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Can I do shots? If you think you can keep your clothes on, then sure. I don't believe for a second that I can keep my clothes on. Kelly says no, but you'll forget you're not feeling well. Well, I feel great, but it's just my throat's just got sandpaper in it. Okay. No, I will forgo the shots. It's going to make dinner real interesting. It is going to make dinner really interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, probably an allergy pill wouldn't hurt. <laughs> I 
Well, I've got the lemon down. I think a lot of it is I just need to be quiet, and Lord knows that's not going to happen. Okay, so I have two 8mm glass beads. And I'm going to come in here and start making some spirals. But yeah, whenever we're making product, we want something that's inexpensive to make and inexpensive to sell. Because sometimes people will come through the booth and they're like, you know, I've got five bucks. It's, I don't know how many times we have done conventions or craft shows and we have made our living for months at a time sometimes off of people's five dollar impulse buys um and so it's like i have never turned my nose at a sale like we used to sell like little one dollar stretchy bracelets because i was like i've got time more than i've got money so i will sit here and string up these bracelets if somebody will give me a dollar for it um and they did and oftentimes people would stop by and they'd be getting some one dollar stretchy bracelets for their kids um, and then, uh, they do something else in the booth might catch their eye. So yeah, we lured them in with the $1 stretchy bracelets, but they stayed and bought like a 10 or 15 or sometimes even like a $30 necklace. And that was the kind of stuff where we were like, oh my God, thank you. Cause at the time, 30 bucks, that was groceries for the week. Like, wow. <laughs> okay. So I've made a spiral and before I do anything else to it, I'm going to try to get the other spiral to match. Might not be sandpaper, it might be that your throat hairs are backwards. I used to tell my kids that when they were little. Ah, geez. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm growing throat hairs. It's my beard hairs, but on the inside. <laughs> and that one's just not coming along. Yep. Woo! And see, and this is what happens, is one will come out, like, perfect. Look how perfect that is. And one will be like, woo! <sighs> shots during auction. B-Day, I'll be doing shots. Oh, no, Pro Pool. Because <laughs> we're hoping for a good auction. I don't want to give you alcohol poisoning on your birthday. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. So if your spirals start getting weird, you can just start kind of squeezing things in and in tightening them down. Tis the frogs in your throat, that's where they went, right? <clears throat> and we want to loop around and make sure that our spirals are roughly about the same size. And my wire might actually not be long enough, so that's a thing. So I'm actually going to undo it a bit. <clears throat> but, okay, maybe I can finish that thought. So this is the design that, this is a design that I really like to use because it doesn't use a whole lot of beads. And we could make a whole bunch of it. And whenever we're manufacturing for in the booth, oftentimes I'll be like, okay, I have a strand of these beads. So, and I have copper bronze and silver toned wire so if we make two pairs of earrings in every bead color and in every wire color then that's 12 pairs of earrings and if we sell them for five bucks a piece then that's 60 dollars worth of inventory and that's just if we do it just in that one color of bead and so oftentimes i'd pick out like five colors of beads um and be like okay so we're gonna do 12 pairs in each of these colors and so that would be 60 pairs of earrings and so that's something that it's like not every single piece of jewelry in our booth would be completely unique but sometimes somebody might really like the design but not like copper maybe they wanted silver and blue or maybe they liked blue or maybe they liked the copper but not the blue maybe they wanted copper and green <clears throat> um and also maybe we sold the copper and blue at last weekend's festival or craft show or convention and we didn't have a chance to make more but now we have back stock so that is probably the number one way that randy and i produced inventory whenever we were selling at shows doing you know 30 events a year um <clears throat> would be we'd sit down and we would tackle a project because <clears throat> we'd be able to streamline it and cut all the same wire at the same length, have the beads out, 
<sighs> so it sounds super boring. Um, like that is not the most creative way, but oftentimes by duplicating a design like that, um, not only are you grinding out and leveling up your base uh, foundation techniques, but oftentimes a project could start to mutate, like maybe something went horribly wrong and it did not come out how you wanted it to, but maybe it's something new that you haven't done before. And it's like, oh my gosh, I love how that looks. And then you figure out, well, how do I get it to look like that again? Ah, crap. Our beads don't fit. <laughs> no! Oh, man. Oh, this one does. Okay. In today's episode of Does It Fit? We get to rummage through and see. Oh, there it goes. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> hey, Jordan. Ah! Oh, I'm so glad that you like it. I had a lot of fun shooting that tutorial and doing the premiere with you guys. Okay, so there's some little... And you could put bead caps on this. Though the more we add to it, the more I'd end up charging for the final piece. So this is a design that I feel pretty comfortable selling for like five bucks. Straightening that out. Now also with this being an 18 gauge wire, I don't worry so much about making sure that it is a wrapped loop. Okay, so I'm going to have the wire bending off in that direction. Can you tell me where you got those yellow hand handled pliers? Carrie, I got these from Rio Grande. And if you go to our website, backtoearthcreations.com, and click on our toolkit, um, there's actually like just pictures of all the different tools that we use and you can actually click on the picture and it will take you directly to where you can purchase your own or if it's an Amazon listing and it's unlisted it, it, it at least gets you started um, in the right direction. But yeah, riogrand.com is where I got those guys. And they are the two millimeter stepped flat nose pliers, I believe is the name of them. Yeah, Kelly. Okay, so I'm going to give myself about 15 millimeters Ouch. of wire. And I'm going to measure and try to make them the same as much as possible. Then you can actually see here on these round nose pliers, I have a little mark etched into the pliers themselves, and that is my favorite spot to make loops. And having that there really helps me to make consistent loops every time. <laughs> And so we've bent and then come around and there's our little loop. You can actually bend it around just a little further. There we go. Hey Mary Hart, we are making some little earring designs. Because I'd like to do a video series that's like, uh, you know, five pairs of earrings that you can sell for $5. Or just something for, um, I know that that would have been useful to me when we were producing for shows and stuff. Um, so now I keep a little bottle of rubber earbacks. And somewhere in this house, I keep, ouch, sorry, wrecking into stuff. Um, where in the heck? Are my earbuds. I tried to tidy up and just ended up losing everything. Mm -hmm. Aha! Found your little boogers. Okay, so I get stainless steel ear hooks. Those are not they. Here they are. 
And I get those off of Amazon, though also from Fire Mountain Gems. And I really like them. I've had a very high success rate with these ear hooks working for people who have metal allergies. Though they do also sell plastic ear hooks on the market. Um, and oftentimes I would keep, whenever we're traveling to events, I would keep some plastic ear hooks, some clip-ons, and some niobium uh, for if somebody, you know, wants the metal but is very, very sensitive. Niobium is an elemental metal. It's often used in, like, pacemakers and stuff, so it's very non-reactive. Um, but these guys, in general, I've had a very high success rate, and they're very affordable. <clears throat> so... Now, granted, they are stainless steel, so they don't, like, perfectly match copper, but it also won't turn your ear hole green. So, and we figure if people don't like it, they can make it themselves. That's why we do the YouTube tutorials. And I want our spirals to be mirror imaged, so... There we are. And that is a super cute and fun and relatively easy pair of earrings. And oftentimes what Randy and I would do whenever we're working production is I'd get the earrings and stuff made and he'd while I'm working on them, he'd be working on like some Gmail or something. Um and then whenever I'm finished, I would hand them off to him and he would attach all the ear hooks and then um, add the ear backs and stuff. Victoria says, I do love your short hair, but I miss your felted dreads. The good news is, Victoria, is I still have all of my felted dreads. And once my hair grows about an inch or so more on the top, I think I'm going to keep it about that length on the top. And then... Um, try braiding my dreads back in so um daniel says random question have you ever cut acrylic on the glowforge if so did it smell like burnt slash melted plastic we have and it does it actually smells like burning nail polish and nail polish remover and plastic and just like it is a horrible horrible smell and that's even with it being um <clears throat> completely vented outside of the house it just stinks to high heaven it very dangerous fumes um but it cuts through it beautifully and uh, looks really cool. Yes. And that's where we would usually get our Niobium ear wires, Mistress, is from the Ring Lord. Uh, that is how you spell Niobium, I believe. But yeah, so there's some little earrings. And that one came out a little long and wonky. So let's see if we can fix that. This is another thing that I really love about the wire from parawire.com. Is we can settle that down on there. And then grab it. And bend it a little bit more. And I'm going to trim that down just a hair. I have found a better strategy rather than just telling people what not to do because it's toxic is to tell them how to do it safely and that a lot of that is always run a respirator, always be in a very overly well ventilated area <clears throat> and um, vent out into a filtration system so you're not just dumping the toxins right out your window. So, because it's sometimes, you know, whenever you take manufacturing into your own hands, that's just part of it. Like, you know, I'm putting Randy and I at risk by uh, fusing glass and doing lamprey glass and stuff in the house, which is why we have the venting set up the way that we do. <clears throat> you know, definitely don't be running your... Uh, your glow forge in your like baby's nursery or something ridiculous <laughs> like you know don't be practicing your deep breathing right on the other side of the vent <laughs> Tell me how to live. 
Randy's in here. Don't tell me how to live. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mm. Daniel says, I only asked because I got some weaving cards off Etsy and they smell like a slightly plastically version of the wood cutting you do. Yeah. Right on. Carrie says, yes, I love cute short hair. Oh, right on. Just cut mine bum length hair as short as yours. Ah, oh, wow. It's so much easier to take. Oh, it, it is very easy. Like yesterday, this bug was chasing me while well, Randy and I were doing a top secret vlog project. Um, and I ended up just, I washed my hair in the garden hose to get the product out that I think the bug was attracted to. It was a honker chonker bug though. <sighs> the craftsman is the best. He is bulls. Um... Beep boop. Aw, oh, hey Patricia. Are you not building the pool? Are you in the garden? No. I don't know, nice. <laughs> That'd be really nice, but no. Um. <laughs> but yeah, so we got that tidied right up. I like that. Cool. So now I'm gonna open up the drawer. Plunk that into. Do y'all want a? We did, but it was time lapse pro pool, so I don't know if the if it actually like caught it. Um. Let's have a look at what all is going to be in the auction. So we have a couple of cabs wrapped up like this. These guys are going to be. What on earth is the neighbor doing? <laughs> right? She's just out there making noises. <laughs> well, it's I still had the drill in my hand, apparently, because I still had it when I ended up in the house. Um, bug didn't bother Randy at all, though. <clears throat> so these three will be in the auction. We have no idea about the pricing yet. Um, we will have the stuff posted, all the stuff that's for sale posted up on our website under auction items. So y'all can keep an eye out for that. We've got a nice little fluorite starflower. We've got Randy made a bunch of beautiful Mobius flower bracelets. So in just about every color scheme. We've got some different pairs of earrings. We've got a whole bunch of lunacy pendants in both silver and copper tones. And all of our pendants will have chains. That's another thing that Randy and I will need to do today. And then this guy I really like. That's another one of our, whoopsie, fused glab. Um, <laughs> Gary. Yeah, it's the hand puppet guy. <laughs> And this is another one of our fused ca uh, fused glass cabochons. And then I really liked that guy. Oof. Couple more pieces with the fused glass, very similar to the fused glass that we were sending out in this month's kits. Ooh! Oh, right on, Christy. Organization is so much fun. Uh, hey, Melody. She says, how do I find the blog? Um, all of our stuff will be up on our website. So here, let me actually take you guys on a tour of our... Ouch. Whoa, I almost made a mess. Okay. Um, of our website. I hear you, neighbor. Searching, searching, searching. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and it is loading so slow. <laughs> but we have this guy from our pen from our tutorial. <clears throat> hey Sarah, how's it going? Got this guy. Oh, I like that one. Okay. So this is our website, backtruthcreations.com. Hopefully it will load. <sighs> oh, come. This tablet is so slow. Okay, so from a tablet, your browser is going to look a little differently. Um, 
we have our craft along club, our join our club, our shop, our toolkit, and our contact us. You can get to our blog by clicking the craft along club. And that's the blog, our members only streams, our coloring pages, and our digital download content. You have to have set up a login and to be a paying member to access the streams, coloring pages, and digital downloads. But the craft along blog, you can just click on. And that'll bring you here where we have a lot of the same information that can be found in Beep Boop newsletters. And those are just some different blog posts and stuff. Um, you can go back to the home page and you can navigate from here. You can scroll down and you can click to join our Craft Along Club, our member exclusive streams, our Craft Along blog. You can click there to access the blog as well. This is our shop. And also if you scroll down a little further, that's where you would sign up for our weekly newsletters. So here in our shop, you can search patterns and templates, beads, cabs, and kits. It's taking a while to load. That's what I get for trying to embed slideshows and our auction items. You can also not listed. You can click on shop and right there will be how you access the auction gallery. So you can click on that. And I think it should be sitting empty because we sold out on our last auction. And it has information about our auction with the auction rules all listed, as well as information on when it's going to be happening. So I hope that answers your questions. But yeah, if you are one of our Craft Along Club members, um, you can just click there and then you can click on the members only streams. And this is where you would put in the email address and password that the email address will be the one associated with the PayPal account that you became a member with. And the password you'll have set up whenever you become a member, it will um, prompt you to like, it, it sends you an email that's like set up a register here and you can do that. And if you ever have any problems with any of this, just send us an email through our contact form. Um, it, we, we, you can email it to backtruthcreations at yahoo.com or you can just come here and click contact us and you can just type it up right there with any questions or comments that you have. It's very helpful if you provide like your name and your email address and like, you know, the, just the information that you signed up with and be like, hey, this is me. This is the problem that I'm having because by hosting our own subscription service, Randy and I are able to actually go in there into um, like either PayPal or on the website and actually help you guys. Like, we don't have to be like, ah, here's the steps so you, for you to do it on Patreon yourself. Because, like, on Patreon, Randy and I can't go in and update any of that stuff. Oh my gosh, there's like a hair. Freaking wizards. Um, and, um, but yeah, you, Randy and I can actually go in and, like, update your info and, like, help you fix stuff. So, we're very happy <laughs> about that. So, um, that being said... I'm gonna let you guys go. It's five minutes early, I know, but actually, before I let you guys go, let's do some quick Q&A. Ah, what is in my eye other than my finger? Um, let's do some quick Q&A in the last five minutes if you guys have any questions. Um, because of, but, hey Victoria, she says, because of you, I started to make some wire wrap pendants. Ah, it's not as easy as you make it look. Oh no, <laughs> you're awesome. I'm always impressed with your work. I do tell everyone all. Well, thank you. I appreciate that a lot. I've worked very hard and through the use of lots of practice and clever editing, I make it look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but uh, I'm constantly a student. So there's always, always, always more to learn. Next question. I'm going to drink some water. I think I put, I don't know. Ow. Next week's live stream, it's just going to be me, like, trying to, I have a drinking problem. I can't get this. <laughs> ah. mm. ah. Sarah says, I'm good. Went through a lot of drama, but I quit smoking. Half five. Congratulations on drama and quitting smoking. I don't know if that's good drama or bad drama, but either way, if it's behind you, that's a good thing. What is a good glue that you can rely on for outside or a lot of damage? For like outside your house, a lot of like, like for being exposed to the elements, 
not hot glue um epoxy sculpt works really well like a lot of different plumbers putties because they'll hold up well to like wet conditions an rv pulling an rv just drove past our house huh um <clears throat> and it depends a lot on the materials honestly because like silicone can do a really great job of binding some different things but sometimes uv exposure can really break things down over the years so um a6000 works pretty well. I really like the DevCon 2 part 5 minute epoxy, but that doesn't bind to glass and like sealed ceramics very well. Um, oh, Christy says, if I use your cabs and things I sell in my shop, I would like to put the description that you made these cabs. Should I just, should I just put your shop name in? Um, however you want to do it, Christy, um, sometimes for marketing purposes, it might be more effective if it's like on Facebook or Instagram to actually tag me. I don't know if that works in shops and stuff, but that way if you do like on Instagram, if you do like a hashtag back to creations or hashtag like Yvonne Williams or even hashtag craft along with Vaughn, sometimes when people are searching those tags, if your work comes up as well, because um, those are things that I promote in a lot of our videos over the years, ish um i'm very inconsistent about that um that might be a better way for people to be able to find your work um again i'm not certain i have no personal preference over how you link it in your shop just however you think is going to be most beneficial to you and your company because it's it's not about me on your shop like even though I, even if i made the cab even if you know i had if it's one of my lamport glass beads or anything this is you and your brand and i want to lift you up as much as possible because that is your place to shine is in your shop and so um however is best for you do that um now also some shameless cross promotion um shameless cross promotion uh if you guys use our cabs or follow along with one of our tutorials or both um send us a high quality image and a short artisan description like a short artisan bio and links to either your shop or your social media wherever you would like for us to redirect people to and we like email that to backtoothcreations at yahoo.com and we like there's a chance that you'll be featured in one of our newsletters that we send out each week to i think right now we have close to 300 subscribers to our newsletters um and it's just a great way to be like like a student gallery kind of to be like look at what these people made using our cabs or our tutorials or you know just kind of what you're up to and that's y'all have given us so much over the years just by being here spending your time with us y'all have changed randy and i's life like it, i don't even know how i can communicate that to you guys how much you've changed our lives just by being here and so many of y'all go even further and even more beyond you know um so many of you guys have sent gifts have just been supportive through our auctions and online sales and just like thank you guys and so it's the least we can do to feature y'all's beautiful artwork and you show it off on our newsletter but hopefully um as the newsletter grows hint hint go sign up for our newsletter <laughs> um then we'll be able to help you reach your work to a much broader audience of people who are at least here interested in wire wrapping or maybe in the cabs or I don't know like you never know when marketing what's going to work and what won't um so we'll see how that goes um but yeah we thought that that would that's kind of the least we can do in our way of being able to give back to you guys <clears throat> Diane says that's an amazing thing to do for us other artists. Love you guys. Oh, Diane, I'm not gonna lie. It's it is boring if I just focus on Randy and I all the time. So y'all are actually doing us a favor by making stuff, taking pictures of it and sending like it's like a providing content to a magazine or something like we'd kind of like our newsletter to become a little bit of a weekly periodical of just what's up in our neck of the woods and with you know our students and you know our students who become our teachers in some cases too. Um, so, well, I lost that train of thought. Goodbye. Um, yes, so y'all are doing us a great favor just by participating in what we're doing because otherwise it's just me sitting here being like, look what I can do. Like, <laughs> uh, 
uh, probably says, or to show your teaching skills. I, I genuinely feel like I'm only as good of a teacher as my students. And y'all make me feel like I've got the best students, so I feel pretty good about myself. But um, I feel like if, if a student ever doesn't get it, it's not it's not the student's fault, it's the teaching method. So um, that's just me, though. Um, let me see. Kat says you got me addicted to wire wrapping. Blah. <laughs> okay. Um, ooh. I got to keep unloading stuff. I'll send it for Craft Along on the first because of billing. We'll see you to Friday's auction. Oh, right on, Patricia. Well, thanks for popping by. And also, all y'all, um, with our new Craft Along Club, you can sign up at any time before December 31st, and your first kit will be a double kit. So don't feel rushed or pressured or anything to move over to the new site yet. But just, but also at the same time, if you're on Patreon, abandon ship, y'all. Like... <laughs> Come on over to the new website. Um, <laughs> Carrie says, where is your niece these days? Um, one of our nieces is in Texas. Abby's in Texas still with her family. And Maddie is in Tennessee still with her family. They're both still in school. So it's, they're like, ugh. And I'm like, dude, I am grateful every day that I'm not in high school anymore. That was the most miserable prison fest I've ever been to. Um... Like, at least in prison, like, don't they give you recess? Like, in therapy? Like, that'd have been nice in high school. Um, sorry. Not to glorify prisons, because they're horrible. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Thank you, Randy. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, Melody says it's been a lot of fun, and we learned something. Love you guys. Aww. Um, Diane says, I still have Patreon. Should I switch now? How will it work? Okay, whenever you cancel your Patreon, I recommend doing that. If you don't want charged again on September, go ahead and cancel now because content has already been, like, your packages have already been sent out. Actually, if you want access to our pre-auction sale, wait until Saturday to cancel because we're not going to be having a patron exclusive sale on Saturday, but we do have the patron membership exclusive pre-sale for the auction on Friday. So that's going to be the last content that we kind of have for August. Um, and so you can cancel that Saturday and then whatever day you sign up on with our new membership site, that's the day that you'll be charged on and that's the day that you'll be charged on each recurring month after that until you've canceled. So that gives you complete control, Diane, on if you went charged on the 1st, sign up on the 1st. If you went charged on the 5th, sign up on the 5th. And that way you can kind of establish what's going to be best for you with your budget because I don't know about you y'all but the first of the month is the worst for me because that's when all of my other bills hit so it's like eh. and of course we don't get paid until like the fifth like google's like oh we'll pay you on the 21st and i'm like <laughs> so um <laughs> that's a thing um no recess in prison only rec time go to the rec room rent games puzzles work out that's kind of i don't know I'm not going to say anything about prison is nice, but that does sound nicer than high school. Ugh. <laughs> Carrie says, I totally agree with you about high school. I hated it. If it wasn't for one friend, I would have jumped off a cliff. Good news? Unless you're like me and dumb as a bucket of rocks, high school only lasts for four years. <laughs> and sometimes you can graduate early. For good, like, get out early for good behavior. Um, gotcha, Diane. <sighs> Kelly says woot, but I can't, I can't even joke about how horrible and messed up the prison system is, but that's a conversation for another day, because, but I also can't say enough about how horrible and messed up our education system is either, because I don't know how to be a grown-up, um, but that's not the high school's fault at this point, that's my fault, because I'm 32, um, oh man, I'm way behind on comments, there we go, um, excellent. Any last comments or questions before we go? I don't know. The only good spray release I've ever used, uh, Jean, was what was sold at Hobby Lobby. And that worked out pretty good. But that's the extent of my experience on that. Quite possibly Rebel or maybe one of our other resin crafters here in the chat might have a better answer for you. Okay. That being said... We do have cabs for sale on our website, guys. Go get one before they're gone. 
I just thought I was jumping in for a replay and came in on prison. Can't wait to see how we got here. Oh boy. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> how do you sign in on your website? Um, Bonnie, the email that you used to sign up on PayPal to become like a paying member, um, that would be the email that you use. And then whenever you signed up, you should have gotten an email prompting you to like go here to create an account. And so that would be your email and then log in. If you're having any problems at all, uh, send us a, a message either through our contact form or just directly to backtruthcreations at yahoo.com with like your name, your login, what you're trying to do, like just fill us in on, catch us up on what's going on and we can go in and kind of manually check and like make sure that you're added to the correct groups and stuff. So, but you should be able to just click on the page that you want to access, like to log in, to get to the login, that might have been your question, you would go to, I might still have it pulled up. <laughs> so, all right, on Diane, we're melting it. Really? But I was just okay. There it is. Okay. So, oh no, I clicked cancel. No, come back. Okay, there it is. I got it. We can do this, you guys. So this is my website loading. If you want to get to where you can log in, you would click the Craft Along Club. And like, let's say you want to access the member only streams, so you would click the member only streams and that's where it'll ask you to log in. So we don't have like a login slash register spot up across the top anymore because we had a lot of people who were just going through and clicking login slash register, but they never paid anything. So they're like, why isn't this working? And I'm like, well, because you got to give me a dollar. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully that helps you. Go let you guys go. We will see y'all in Friday's auction, you guys. So until then, happy crafting. Oh, Friday auction. We're not going to be having a patron exclusive live stream on Saturday. All of the info is on our main homepage. Um, at the bottom of the homepage is our calendar of events with all the dates and times of everything. But happy crafting, y'all. We'll see you on Friday. Bye. Um, oh, when will Amber Cabs be available? Are they for club members only? They'll be going up on the website uh, in September. I need that we have extra. So, bye guys. <laughs>